A friend of mine who smokes says, there's nothing easier than quitting smoking. I did it already about 100 times. We humans belong to a species called Homo sapiens, which in Latin means a thinking man, implying that as opposed to animals, humans can think. But if your thoughts are not affecting your feelings and not expressed in your speech and your actions, your thoughts are useless. This is why Hasidic tradition says that there is a lesson that needs to be learned from the difference between humans and animals' anatomy. As opposed to most of the animals, people walk upright. This means that our heads are positioned above our bodies. We were created this way to teach us that by us humans, head, not feelings, is supposed to be in charge of everything we do. So if we are made with our heads above our bodies, then controlling ourselves should be easy. As soon as your head learned that smoking is bad, your body should listen and quit smoking immediately. But we know it does not work this way. Why? For the answer, we need to turn to our anatomy as well. Our wide heads and broad bodies have a narrow connector, a neck. The restricted passage makes communication between the two difficult. So what should we do? This allusion to the problem can again be learned from looking at our physical selves. In order for food to pass from our head to our body, we need to chew it over and over. In order for our thoughts to penetrate from our heads to our bodies, we need to chew in it as well. We need to dwell into it, think into it, and then it will not stay in our heads as a theoretical information, but will actually affect our actions. This is not easy, and it requires a lot of work. Learning Hasidic concepts over and over, and thinking into them during our prayers, is the time dedicated by our tradition for this work. In Hasidic jargon, this is called Hidbonenut, a process of working on one's character by thinking about the concepts that are supposed to affect us. The effects of Hidbonenut reach far beyond issues like quitting smoking, developing the traits you want and reading oneself of the traits you don't want is really what it's meant for. So now we see that our heads are positioned by nature above our bodies to teach us that our heads are supposed to be in control. But the narrowness of our necks is making it difficult, and therefore it requires a lot of work. But Torah insists that this work is necessary.